Located about an hour's drive southwest of Pittsburgh in rural western Pennsylvania, Meadowcroft Rock Shelter has been the site of extensive archaeology work since 1973, after University of Pittsburgh students painstakingly removed layer after layer of sediment, evidence of human activity as early as 19,000 years ago was revealed. We visited Meadowcroft, a National Historic Landmark, to learn the story from James Atavasio, who's been leading archaeology research there for almost 50 years. When Columbus originally got here in 1492, before he was the, the Admiral of the Ocean Seas, so to speak, he encountered aboriginals on Samanake or, or wherever he landed, and they were the Taino, and he or members of his entourage posed a series of questions about these folk that we've been asking ever since. Who are they? Where did they come from? Via what routes did they employ to get here? And when did they arrive? And a question they didn't ask, but which we obviously have addressed here is, what were they doing? What were their lifestyles like? He thought he knew the answers to all of his own questions because he thought he was in the East, not the West Indies. So he called them Indios, or Indians, a term we've used ever since. And the supposition was, at least within 100 years, that they had arrived here 2,500 years before he did. And that benchmark arrival date has been pushed further and further and further back through the years, but it would take a series of intellectual developments in Western Europe before we could actually answer any of those questions appropriately. Back when the initial excavation started here in 1973, we thought we understood everything there was to know about the first people in the New World there was a prevalent model about how that event took place, when that event took place, what their lifestyles may have been like, that literally everybody believed. And the excavations here and at a series of other locations have profoundly altered our perceptions of the past in such a way that literally everything we thought we knew, we don't know anymore. It's clear that the earliest people that came to this site were in fact what we call broad spectrum uh, subsistence folk. In other words, like college guys, they would eat anything in the refrigerator. They were eating elk to mouse-sized animals. They were eating an incredible assortment of plants. We got 1.4 million plant remains from here. 956,000 animal bones representing over 105 different species. 